PSA, if you're ever hauling a, a little trailer like that, don't exceed 55, especially if it has no weight. Look how much that is moving. That is sketchy. He could hit somebody. Just don't do it, please. Or do it. If you're going to do it, do it slow. Load was a little bit steep. Had to put these two by fours to get it an inch up so I can cross some wraps. Did it perfect. Innovate. Be smart. Think about it. I did mess up though. I didn't put wheel chucks or my e-brake, so I was dumb on my behalf. But now let's wrap this thing down. Go to the next place. Load up and let's keep going. Here I just put chain on the front, holding the forks down. This is attached to the machine. Chain in the back, laying it down right here. Both tension, really nice and well. Hopefully you can hear me with a loud noise. E-brake on, neutral. Let's get it, Let's move to the next one. On site to my second pickup. OBS, this Polaris two seater. Um, probably gonna have to drop the forklift. If I can put the Polaris in the front, we have to bring the forklift back on top. So, not too bad. Gotta play musical musical equipment. So, let's see how this goes. This is her boys, two seater Polaris. Let's get it. Okay, I get that bow off, put this on the front, then load that back on. Easy peasy.
equipment. These uh, two by fours right here are for the forklift, so it can go up about an inch, so that way it won't damage my ramps like it did right here previously. But whatever, you learn with experiences. It's not a failure if you learn. So here goes our forklift. Here goes our all-terrain Polaris two-seater. It's a diesel. Awesome. So now let's just strap this down and get out of here. I feel like to bring the ramp down to the floor. This one, for some reason, it sticks about like four inches higher than the other one, but whatever. Just a quick tip in case you got mega ramps. Not moving anywhere. Chain back here, back there, back there. You might have seen that when I put the first chain in the front. I put it just snug because these are these ve these vehicles have wheels, obviously. And if you tug it, tug it too much to the front, it'll move to the front. So you got to get a little bit of tension both front and back, and then you go ahead and extra. All right, we just got through with loading both of those. Uh, we'll see if I can offload today. If not, more than likely I have to uh, do a first thing in the morning. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, it wasn't hard. It was tedious, to, to say the least, but we got it done. All right, guys, so that'll probably be the end of that video. Um, my parents, they were the ones who ended up offloading the equipment in Corpus Christi, so I didn't record that but the equipment got offloaded safe and sound. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, follow the Instagram page, j.j.j.hotshotservice, and catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.